So uh, this morning, Saturday, uh, got up a bit early. Thought I'll get out here and weed some crab grass before the sun starts belting down because it'll get really hot. Uh, so I spot sprayed the crab grass with a paspalum selective, and um, obviously it knocked knocked my kike around a little bit. Started sort of browning off, but um, just wanted to sort of yeah, see what I could find. There was a few spots that still sort of come back through. Anyway, as I started digging, I start finding these little bastards, grubs. So. I'm gonna have to do an application of a celeprin, I think. Um, it's strange, but they've only, I'm only finding them where the grass is already damaged from the spray, not actually in any of the healthy turf, which is a bit unusual, I thought. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get on top of it before my whole lawn goes to shit. So uh, I'm very glad that I sort of just had a bit of a curious thought to come dig up some crab grass that I've got because um, yeah found quite a few grubs now so I'll definitely be spraying it out uh, I'll show you what your lawn looks like now and um, I, I seriously would have had no idea because like I said I've spot sprayed um, that past palum spray and that's all, obviously where all the dead patches are I've dug up some good parts and there's um no grubs there, so yeah, not sure. So as you can see in here, we've got a couple of grubs, old mate and his mate. But um, as you can see, the rest of the grass looks mint. A little bit of spot spray that I just did there, and then this is the spot here that I've just been digging up this morning. So just randomly. I'd say there was going to be something under here, even though this is obviously a spot where I've spot sprayed and the poison's done a good job. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I found it. So, um, after finding some grubs this morning, um, I've obviously had to go out and find something because I don't really want to let it get much worse. Um, nothing else is open, so I've had to go for Bunnings. Uh, I've got this... Uh, rich grow lawn beetle and grub killer this stuff here so um i've got two bottles of that so i'm just going to hit it pretty hard but uh, i think i'll get some acelaprin uh once these are knocked down as a bit of a preventative because i definitely don't want my lawn to die i sort of spend too much time um admiring it talking about it and working on it to uh let it all go to waste from some little bugs so uh yeah I'm gonna spray that out now and uh, hopefully start seeing some grubs drop. Um, that's all for today's video. It uh, wasn't sort of too much exciting or good things. It was actually a pretty bad way to start my weekend. Um, on a better note though, the backyard's looking pretty good apart from the dog piss burns. Uh, gave it a cut yesterday with a a 30 year old um, Rover Suzuki two stroke um, thing cuts like a dream, so good. Um, actually, yeah, had me blown away. I usually do a rotary cut in the backyard just because my dog, I don't really like the low cut. She'll she'll wreck it pretty quick if it's uh, cut as low as the front is. So it does have a bit more length on it. Um, but that's all for the video today. Give it a like, give us a comment, whatever. And uh, I'll keep you in the loop how the grubs go. Hopefully they, hopefully they leave. That's what I want for Christmas. So, so uh, yeah, thanks.